So before running the simulation, we need to set our sliders. Um, we'll set the initial patient state at four, uh, where four is a relatively healthy patient and zero is a patient who is no longer alive. Our base deterioration rate will set at 0.67, which is uh, a fairly rapid deterioration rate where the patient would deteriorate from a state of four to death over a 60 minute period. We'll have a look at set the base time to notice, to interpret and to respond at the midpoint. So it's taking them about 30 minutes to notice, interpret and respond to the various cues. And we'll set the fraction interpreted, acted upon and noticed at 50% as well. So they're only seeing about half of the cues, interpreting them and acting upon them. So this is a fairly, you know, not well handled type scenario. So let's see what happens. We've got a work environment of one, which is just a standard work environment and a base level of understanding of two, which would be um, a second year, a second year nursing student. So let's have a look and see what happens when we run the simulation. Okay, so here it is. So we've got a graph here, which I'll put up in this area. And we can see that the red is the cues as they crop up. So the cues are increasing over time. Our timeline here goes from zero to 60 minutes. We see that a number of cues are noticed, but as we saw, not, not very many. A lesser number are correctly interpreted and an even lesser number are actually acted upon. So let's have a look at another run of the simulation. And this time we're going to look at a less deterioration rate. So instead of a deterioration rate of a quite a rapid deterioration over the hour, we'll just have a very slow deterioration rate and have a look at running that simulation again. Okay, so what we can see with this one, I'll put it up beside it, is that the cues build much more slowly and a lesser number of cues as well build over the time. Again, only a small number of the cues are noticed though and even less correctly interpreted and even less correctly acted upon. So they're the two situations where the scenario is not particularly well handled. Let's have a look at another scenario now where, where it's handled as well as you would expect. So let's go back and have our rapid deterioration rate, but this time we're going to have quite rapid noticing, so noticing, interpreting and responding within a couple of minutes of the cues appearing. And we're going to say that this particular person acts, notices and interprets most of the things correctly. So we won't, we won't make it all, but pretty much most. So let's have a look and run and see, see how that one looks. So here we go. So I'll just put this under the other one and you can see here that these two, this one and the one underneath had the same deterioration rate of the patient. But as you can see in this one, the cues build up, but very quickly those cues are noticed, which is evidenced by the green. And also equally quickly they're interpreted and acted upon. And as that happens, you can see the cues start to drop off. So let's have a look at that scenario again, and this time with a lesser deterioration rate, just to see how that looks. So running it one more time. Okay, so here's the same scenario again that's well handled, but in this case, the, uh, the patient is deteriorating at a much slower rate. So as you can see, the cues build quite slowly, which is this red line here and really barely built before they start to be noticed, correctly interpreted and acted upon. So the cues really never, never get to build with the patient um, deteriorating at such a slow rate. So we talked about the patient. Let's have a look at the patient for those four situations. So here's the patient's state. So in the first two, um, we can see where it was not particularly well handled. At the rapid deterioration rate, we can see the patient deteriorates from a reasonably healthy four down to the point at which the patient dies, which is around the 30 minute period. With, with a slower deterioration rate on this second graph, even though it was not well handled, um, it, it deteriorates slower. So 
such that even at the 60 minute period, the patient's still alive, but obviously not doing very well. So if we have a look at the scenarios where it was better handled, we can see that with the rapid deterioration rate, the patient deteriorates quite quickly, but as, as the cues are handled and, and responded to, we can see that the patient then goes on to recover. The one where it's the patient's deteriorating slowly, um, we never actually reach that point where the patient starts to recover because we really don't reach that deterioration curve because it's deteriorating so slowly, we never see the point where, where they start to recover. It, it would happen, but it would be longer than 60 minutes. Okay, the last one to have a look at is the learning. And we're still working on the on the learning on on the various aspects that contribute to to learning and understanding. But you can see with even the very basic model that we've got that even um, when the patient dies or, or is not well handled, there's still some learning that occurs. So you can see on these two, there's some learning that occurs. In the situation here where it's better handled, there's greater feedback as, as the as the person responds to the patient and sees that the patient responds, they get that feedback, which then improves their understanding of the situation. Again, the last one, um, it's a slower, it's still a, a greater improvement. It's not linear. It's starting to curve upwards here. But again, because the whole thing is happening much slower, the level of understanding is increasing at a much slower rate. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, the model in four different runs, just to give you a feel for the difference that it makes when we adjust these sliders to give a different scenario.